Blood is the lifeline that sustains us all, yet for many, it remains a scarce resource with dire consequences. Join me as we delve into the importance of blood from its essential role in saving lives to the challenges surrounding its availability and explore why donating blood is crucial. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the Test of Hospital Thank Blood you very Bank. Much. Okay, so, I'm going. Welcome to the Test of Hospital Blood Bank. This is our reception area, and any donor who comes in, pass through the reception area. And here we have our medical laboratory scientists who will be checking for your details before you do it. The first thing you will check for a photo ID to be sure you are who you say you are. Then we will allow you to do it. Okay, so from the, the registration area, okay. where, where do we have to? We'll go to the screening room. Okay, so can we go? Your identification has been checked. The next point of call is you see our nurse. So let's go ahead and see our nurse. Welcome to the screening bay. At the screening bay, we have a resident nurse who would check your vitals to be sure you are eligible to donate. Some of the things the nurse will check out for are your pressure, your weight, and then your blood will be taken for the donation process. After the blood sample has been taken, the blood sample will be screened for hepatitis B, syphilis, hepatitis C, and then HIV. And then blood grouping would also be performed. When the donor passes or the screening process, he's eligible to donate the blood. Are there any health benefits associated with donating blood in the first place? Okay, there are lots of health benefits. One is you get free medical screening. During the process, I told you at the screening stage, you screen for HIV, hepatitis B, syphilis, and then hepatitis C. During this process, you are going to get it free. You don't pay for it. We'll screen it. When you pass, then you donate. Also, your chances of getting enough red cells are enhanced, and then your risk of getting cancer is also reduced by donating blood. Why are you donating blood today? I'm donating for my friend. It's like a brother to me. Okay. Yeah, but they said they did an uh, operation, but they need blood. There are many uh, occasions or conditions that comes up when people need blood to save their lives. So encouraging more voluntary donations helps blood to be always available in our blood banks and hospitals to save the lives of others who will be in dying need in such situations. Ideally, blood should be available or should be waiting for the patients rather. And encouraging voluntary donation helps it to help us achieve this ideology. I am not going to be able to do this. I am not going to be Unless we receive blood, we cannot be put on the dialysis machine until we get people to come donate. Sometimes we go home without dialysis or we have to buy blood from other facilities. As we've heard, the need for blood is constant, yet the supply is not. So I urge you, donate blood because your donation could mean the difference between life and death for someone in need. Imanol Samani, TV3 News, Accra.